not all dogs are right for a family environment. That's even true of some small dog breeds. Of course, what is best for your family depends on what you want from a dog. But here are seven small family dogs that you might want to consider. I'm going to cheat. Technically, there are eight dogs on this list and, well, this one is not actually a breed. That said, I think no matter what reason you like to have a dog, you should start at your local dog shelter. Mutts, or mixed breed dogs, often bring a lot to the table. They are versatile in that they aren't specialized like many purebred dogs. While not all dogs found in shelters will be mutts, there's always the chance that your next buddy might be waiting for you there. Give it a shot. Okay, now that I'm done cheating, let's get on with this list. Starting with the Shih Tzu. These little Chinese lion dogs are, are most likely originally from Tibet. They only weigh about 10 pounds, do not shed much, and are not that hard to take care of if kept in a puppy cut. Since they don't shed much and have little dander, they are close to being hypoallergenic. Great if one of your family members is sensitive to dogs. Bred solely to be companions, Shih Tzus are affectionate, happy, outgoing house dogs who love nothing more than to follow their people from room to room. And they make great family pets who get along with other animals and even children. It's hard not to love the French Bulldog, with its short snout and big bad ears. Just kind of makes you want to do na 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 bat dog. Overall, the Frenchie is a cute, affectionate dog that makes a wonderful family companion for all kinds of families. Their small size means they can do well in smaller homes, but they are more sturdy than the average small dog, making them fine with kids. This is a loyal and intelligent breed that typically gets along well with children and other animals. Plus, they don't need a ton of exercise, so you won't be spending all day going for walks. The Cocker Spaniel is certainly not the smallest dog on this list. In fact, there will be those among you that will scream this is not a small dog. You'll do it in all caps, I've seen it happen. However, topping out at less than 30 pounds is certainly not a big dog. Where you will agree is that they are excellent family dogs. The typical Cocker Spaniel is gentle, a loving and trustworthy family companion who is good with children, other pets, and the elderly. It is known for a merry, sound temperament, its flowing coat is extremely handsome, it's loving and gentle, and it wants nothing more than to make its family happy. You should be aware that the Cocker has a soft personality. Harsh training methods will make it fearful, so be sure to use gentle, consistent training to get the best results. The smallest of the Spaniel breeds, the Cavalier King Charles is a companion dog, rather than a gun dog like his other Spaniel kin, including the Cocker. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is a great option for young families looking for a small dog. They are docile animals with an affectionate, loving temperament appropriate to any companion dog. However, young children will need to be educated about how to handle this fragile toy breed. A huge plus is the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel doesn't make a lot of noise. They rarely bark. While this is a good thing for those who live in an apartment complex or with neighbors effectively living on top of them, they're not suited as watchdogs. Furthermore, their amiable nature means they're more likely to be friendly to strangers rather than scare off unwanted visitors. Ah, the wee white Westie is happy in any type of living situation and will do well in the country or in the city. It makes an excellent apartment resident if properly exercised and trained not to bark. The Westie is happy to stay at home while you're at work and with proper stimulation and safety precautions, the West Highland White Terrier is fine on its own during your work day. To top it all off, the Westie is also an easy traveler, whether on long vacations or on short errands. Is intelligent and a quick learner, and training will amuse your Westie as long as it remains positive and consistent. In fact, using positive reinforcement laced with consistency is the only way to train a Westie. As a true terrier, vermin chasing is hardwired and no amount of training will alter that. 
This might be a plus if you have the occasional rat or house mouse visit. Speaking of true terriers, the Boston Terrier is not one. Just thought you might want to know that. File that away with the rest of your random animal facts in your head. It is, however, a loving family companion. Always friendly, the Boston Terrier's small size and lively affectionate nature make it a great family pet. They love children and amuse people of all ages with their antics and unique appealing expression. They are sturdy but portable people oriented and always up for a brisk walk to the park or outdoor cafe, making them a great companion for those that like to get out and socialize. You know, after we get to get out and socialize again. Until then, the Boston Terrier will remain happy chilling at home with you. Beagles aren't small dogs, I hear you say it again. And to that, I will reply that 24 pounds does not a large dog make. And of course, there is the pocket beagle that typically weighs around 15 pounds. By most standards, beagles fit right into the small dog space. But do they make great family dogs? Yes, they do. The National Beagle Club of America says that beagles are excellent family companions. Of course, they might be biased, but we'll trust their expertise. Their low-maintenance coat and their affectionate yet independent temperament makes them an ideal pet for many families, including and especially families with kids. Beagles are friendly dogs and enjoy making new friends. This goes for humans, canines, and maybe even a cat. Beagles tend to be healthy, and they don't have long coats that require complicated or expensive trips to the groomer. It is overall an easy dog to take care of. You'll need to secure your beagle at all times, however. Their nose has a tendency to lead them into trouble. If not in a fenced yard, your beagle must remain on a leash. Although that's probably a good policy for any dog. Might as well check out these videos since you're here. Go ahead and crush that subscribe button while you're at it. And as always, catch you next time.